I'm going to share with you guys tonight the things that make sense to me and maybe it makes sense to you. First things first, I, I really wanted to know who the company was. I wanted to know who was I going to be partnering with. Um, the question I have for you is, do you ever have the desire to be part of something bigger than you? Okay. Have you ever wondered why that person or that person is more successful? What, what gives them the right to make all that money? Um, not in an entitlement culture necessarily, but more of a curiosity saying, what did they do? And um, I've had that curiosity. In fact, there's been times where I've actually boldly asked people, hey, how did you do what you did and what did you do? And, and honestly, every answer has never been, hey, I got a PhD. I went to college for 20 years and this is what I do. Um, even the neurosurgeon who's rated the fourth best neurosurgeon in the world is my neighbor. He's humble. He's a good guy. And he actually said to me, he goes, listen, it was who I knew and when I knew them. He would happen to go to the right school with the right physician, the right doctor, the right mentor to get him into the doors and get him into this places where he was able to succeed and get the education correctly. So he didn't relate it to his knowledge of being a doctor. He related it to the people he knew. And there's nothing more real than that, especially in the timing factor of, of Global E. So what is Global E? I, I have to ask you this simple question. Um, what is it about you? Is it the right time for you? Um, maybe you weren't even looking for an opportunity. Maybe you are okay with the money you're making. Maybe you're fine with where you sit with your family and your goals and your ambitions. But uh, there are a lot of people out there that had a goal when they're 21 that don't even look at it anymore. They had a goal when they're 31. They don't even look at it anymore because those goals and dreams hurt. They hurt a little bit and they push them out to wish land and then they just put them out in a cloud and and don't think about them anymore. Well, my job here tonight is to hopefully get you to dust a lot, dust off that dream a little bit, that desire to do something bigger than you ever have before and without getting hurt. How about that? Without getting hurt. So my question is, which one are you? Are you a one, two, or three? A one is a person that hears everything and says, you know what? I can't believe I've been listening to this. I've been duped too many times before. I want nothing to do with it. Well, great. You're a number one. We just need to know after 20 minutes if you're still a number one. If you're a number two, we just need to know that you're up for making a little bit of extra, you know, consume the products, okay? So that's what we want. We want to make sure that you're able to consume the product. You understand what you're taking. You order your products, and you get healthy. That's a number two. Or number three is the type of person that says, you know what? I am so excited about this opportunity. I see what you see. Now I understand why... Amy got me on this webinar because Amy knows what's going on. I trust her. I'm all in. Thank you so much for the information. I'm, I'm getting in touch with Amy. So we're going to find out if you're a one, two, three tonight. So simply place, guys, there's, there's a thing called the S-curve in business. Now, I'm just going to get a little bit of macroeconomics on you. Didn't know you were going to school tonight, but listen, 90% of all businesses fail. You've heard that statistic before, but did you know where it came from? My business law and ethics textbook in college, one of the classes I actually stood up and walked out of, okay, um, they were teaching this study that was done over 60,000 companies over 30 years. And they said 90% of all companies fail. Well, why did they fail? And then what happened to the 10% that succeeded, right? So what you've got to look at is if the 10% succeeded, what would you rather learn from? The 10% that did or the 90% that didn't? I personally would like to learn from the 10% that succeed. So let's find out what they had in common. First things first, they were at a good company. They had five things in common. The company was led by good people making integral decisions, you know, paying their taxes on time, paying payroll on time, producing a product eth with eth efficiency, and having ethic and valuable decision-making skills. Some of these skills are brought up from your parenting. So Lamia, Mark, and Nader are the owners of this company. They are the best trifecta you could ever imagine. Lamia has a skill of international growth and network marketing. Mark has a skill of producing probably the best quality products in the world. Okay, He's a product formulator, been in the industry for 20, 30 years. Nader has been the systems guru that helps companies get launched in international markets. Okay. Hence the name Global E. I could go into depth with these guys. I hope you get to know them. So do we have a good company? Um, you can take my word for it. Let me tell you, when I met Mark the first time, the biggest thing that, that I was looking for was not 
a salesy pitch, not a person that I felt like I needed to take a shower after I met with him, which there's a few good people out there and there's a few that are like that. But I really was enamored by Mark's commitment to products. As the CEO, ingredients are number one to him. He's a product, product, product guy. Been working with General Mills, Purina, supplying Whole Foods, supplying Trader Joe's, and then he jumped into the network marketing space and he's created hundreds of products, tens of billions of dollars sold. And now he finally owns a company in which he can dictate the value, the presence, and the grams of how many active ingredients go into a product for the first time. So there is no compromise integrity when it comes to products for the first time in the industry. Um, the last two I want to talk about, Kirby. Kirby has scaled companies from zero to everything in the network marketing space four times successfully. And he brings his 20 years of scaling companies to a billion dollars to our table. And then Chris Prey was one of the senior um, chief officers, uh, controlling officers of Amazon subsidiaries. So for 10 years experience with Amazon, he brings those philosophies, best business practices to our table as our CFO. You guys, this is the deepest bench I've ever seen in the network marketing space. So do we have a good company? Shoot, yeah, we have a good company. The next question I have is about our products. So let me ask you this. If you could drink a product that would reduce the inflammation in your cardiovascular system and it tastes good, would you? If you could drink a product that has zero sugar in it but tastes like the 20-gram sugar instant, you know, revitalite packet, what's it called, Starbucks or whatever, okay, then would you, if you could drink a product that was more powerful in the energy mecca than any other, or any other energy drink in the market, has 21 active natural, 100% natural ingredients from the purest of forms, okay? So I'm just asking, would you, if you had a product that showed clinically that it reduced 82% of the participants, reduced their cardiovascular inflammation in 30, 31 days? 82% of 54 men or women and women. So there's some powerful stuff to this, but the bottom line, it tastes good and it's 15 calories. So if you could take a product that doesn't have sugar, that curbs your appetite and helps you lose weight and taste good, would you take it? The next thing I have to ask is what if you could turn back the clock when it comes to your pituitary glands production of HGH? If you don't know what HGH is, HGH is the human growth hormone in your body that protects and creates new cells, new fibers, everything in your body for recovery of growth and recovery of expansion or working out. So it also is a hard, hardcore anti-aging agent within the body, okay? It, um, Eternal is our second product and you take Eternal at night and in the morning you do the activator cream. And in conjunction with Taka, you guys are going to feel dramatically different. How many people don't like going to the gym because they're sore the next day? Or they don't like going to the gym because they don't feel strong enough anymore. When you have your HGH levels increase, your cortisol will be a byproduct and so will testosterone. Guess what? This has a three patented blend, uh, three patents on our natural formulations as well. So we've done some due diligence as far as the trends and society and the support of the business side of these products. So you have to ask yourself, okay, Peter Drucker said you've got to have a good company with good people. You have to have capital. It takes money to make money. You have to pay your taxes on time. You have to have integral decisions. Next, you have to have a product that's consumable. Ours are pretty consumable. That's leading edge, category creating, that changes or supports the trends of society. Okay, what are trends? Well, the number one trend of the, of the U.S. this year, January 1st, Change my, uh, what was it, lose weight and get healthy. Lose weight, get healthy, number one. Number two, change my financial position. If we're selling eight-track cassette tapes or we're doing something behind the trends, we're not in, uh, in front of the trends, therefore we're missing one of the five comp components to be successful, and we turn into one of those 90 percenters that fail, okay? So do we have trends supporting our products? Absolutely, it's a simple yes. So the next thing I have to ask is timing. Uh, is timing important? Do you want to be at the beginning or the end of something, right? Would you rather be involved in Microsoft in the garage or today? It's a common sense answer. Yes, of course, in the garage. But it's all about who you know and when you know them. And I didn't know anybody that was creating Yahoo or Google at the time it was created, okay? Here is your chance to know somebody because they knew somebody that invited you to be part of the pioneering process of establishing the corporate 
uh, the actual foundation of leadership on the field leadership side. And corporate is putting everything together for us to launch this company in October. Okay. So then you have to ask yourself, okay, it's the right time for the company, but it's the right time for you. Right? So timing is everything. Just like in real estate, it's all about location, location, location. Well, today it's all about timing, timing, timing. The last thing, last component to make a company successful, we have four of the five or 80% there, but do you realize that all those 90 percenters, maybe uh, all of them had at least two or three, but some of them even have four four components of the five and they still failed. Can you imagine not making any money? You've got to have some sort of compensation. If the company doesn't make money, it's done before it starts. So what you've got to look at in timing is there's this little corner right here, right by momentum. And when a company reaches a sales point where it attracts marketing from other resources, it attracts people's attention and all of a sudden it becomes a household name and globally is talked about on the radio, on the TV shows, and things start to percolate, right, in a large scale. Where do you want to be on that? As the parade comes up or as the parade goes by, right? We want to be in front of that big parade of onslaught of people buying this product. Because as, as they do, you're going to get a little ching-ching, right? You're going to get a little percentage of every purchase done. So here's how the compensation works. First off, first off, if you've ever done network marketing before, I want you to recognize something. Probably nine times out of 10, you are missing one of those five components. You have bad leaders, you have bad ownership, you didn't have enough money, right? Or you didn't have the right product that retained and, can, and, and made people rebuy. Or maybe you just didn't get involved in the company at the right time. Or maybe they didn't have the right compensation. So when we developed our compensation for you, right? We had a lot of behaviors in mind. A lot of companies will pay you to recruit, but they don't pay you to sustain, blow up, and and, and launch a team. So we've got to make sure that we have all these behaviors supported by some sort of commerce or a commission. So how it works is simply put, here you are in the big circle up front. The company recognizes you when you buy, you can buy them for $50, $250. In this example, it's the professional cap pack at $500 that gives you all the products, both Eternal Taka and the sample packs you need to start your business you will then earn 10% of whatever you bring in as uh, other people that want to do the same thing you. So you get one on your left and you want on your right. Jan does a $500 kit. Don does a $500 kit. At this point, you just made a hundred dollars. We're going to help Jan do the same thing. So I'm going to help you help Jan and Jan's going to get one on her left, one on her right. Jan makes a hundred dollars. Don does one on his left, one on his right. Don makes a hundred bucks, but you make 25 bucks per person, another hundred dollars to you. If you do this in 21 days, which we will do, right? In 21 days, we compress this down. The company is going to pay you an additional $300, okay? This is huge. So with that $300 plus your two, you make your $500 back, okay? How this works over time is you continue to put one on your left, one on your right. People will do the same thing. Everybody duplicates. And as that left side do, runs into a uh, $10,000 purchase volume, and the right side does the same, you hit what's called a cycle and you get paid a hundred bucks. You do this 10 times, you get paid a thousand dollars. That's called one dual team commission cycle. This is paid weekly. So can you imagine if you did one cycle per week, that's a thousand dollars per week. This caps out at 30 cycles per week or $30,000 a week. Now the other end of this, the other end of the spectrum, that's the front end, the back end is as your people get involved, what's going to happen is you get you are recruiting not just one, not just two, but more and more people. And they're on your left and on your right. But when they reorder the following month, they're, they're direct to you because they're your personals. Okay? You brought Pat, Don, Jack, Jan, and Yuli, and number five. Right Now, this is a simple mathematic example, but you've got $88,000 per month of income coming in from this example. Okay? Remember at the beginning when I asked, have you ever wondered if it's your turn? Have you ever wondered what makes it different? Guys, it's not luck. It's when preparation, right, or timing meets opportunity. This is a big opportunity. And it's a chance for you to take advantage of the timing and leverage it for your own good and your own family. You help five people get involved. You help those five get five. That's 25. You 25 get five. That's 125. You help 125 get five. That's 625, three. And you get the picture. This is a perfect mathematic equation. And everybody's buying $50 a month. Look what you make per month, $88,000 just in this one bonus. 
Got it. Now, what if I'm 80% wrong? That's still $16,000 a month. It's not a bad deal, okay? So the next question I have is, do you think that we have compensation? Do you think there's money to be made here? Do you think the margins are available for us as distributors to make money as well as corporate? I can tell you, yes. It is a 55-45 split in our favor. So we make 55 cents, or we have the ability to acquire 55 cents of every dollar sold into the company. So the next question I have is, what are you? After hearing what I've told you, are you interested in finding out more? Or you're not here, neither here nor there, that's fine. If you are interested in getting enrolled and starting your business, please get with us immediately as we can strategize a team for you. Who are gonna be your six circles? Who do we put in these links? Let's write their names down, print this off. Let's fill these circles together in the next 24 hours. Let's let them know what you know. I'm so excited about anybody getting involved in this stage of the game because the leverage you will see as this company grows to a, a million dollars to 20 million to 200 million, I experienced it, will be legendary as it adds zeros to the back end of your check. So stay connected with the people that brought you, get the product in your mouth, and thank you so much for participating in this webinar tonight. I hope this was enough information for you to pique your interest and get your questions answered.